A great week for U of L softball as they pick up victories in each of their four games. We'll talk about it here with head coach Sandy Pearsall. I'm Sean Moth. Thank you for watching. We begin with Kentucky. I had the pleasure of doing it on TV. Six o'clock start on a Tuesday. Mother Nature decided to fix that for us, and or sorry, a Wednesday, and an hour and a half rain delay, and there was still an attendance record. And before we get to the game, we have to talk about the crowd. We had some groups out there, some some teams, and they really stuck it out. It was a great atmosphere. Yeah, you know when that happens, you have weather. You know, some people are going to go home, some people aren't going to stick it out, but it was really wonderful that that many people stuck it around to watch it. Um, and it certainly was a tremendous atmosphere to play in. And it was a great game from a spectator standpoint. Cardinal fans might have gotten a little nervous there toward the end, but uh, I, I think uh, we have to credit Katie Keller for getting on base, Tanner Fowler for driving her home, and Carolisa Cannell for a great job in the circle. Yeah, great job all the way around. You know, we did some great things. Um, Carolisa threw probably one of her best games so far this year, and now I know she's got it in her, so I got to get a few more games like that from her. Um, but, you know, the offense did the job they had to do, and our defense, by and large, did the job they had to do. Um, and as you're right, in the seventh inning, we did, we did get a little nerve-wracking there. We decided to put a few people on yeah. and, and drop a fly ball and characteristic. Um, but we, we, I guess we just wanted to put our back against the wall and see what we could do. It was good for entertaining television, I will say that. The cards were up 2-0 heading into the seventh. Bases were loaded. They pushed a run across. Uh, the, obviously, the tying run at third, the potential go-ahead or winning run at second base, and Carolisa came back and shut the door. And yeah. what do you what do you say to a team in that position? Because it is a no mistake situation. No no wild pitches. I mean, nothing can go yeah. wrong. Yeah. Well, you know that's um, you know I think what helps is we've been in those positions and we've been able to get out of them. You know we've had the pressure on us and we know we have the confidence that we can make the plays. We have confidence in our pitching staff and in our defense and. Certainly, um, Lenny was a little bit, for the first time ever, Lenny was just a little bit too nervous, a little yeah. too keyed up. She really wanted to go out and do a great job. Kind of got us into a little bit of trouble. But luckily, you know, Carolisa came right back in and, and got the job done for us. And then, you know, some great defense behind her, making the plays they absolutely had to make. They were routine plays, but you had to make them, and, and we did that. No question. The Cards sweep the season series from the Cats, and it was a, a good Kentucky team that came in, and the weather and the fans yep. certainly played a factor. We go on to conference play, and, and this is the this is the important part of the schedule. You, you want to get those wins over Kentucky. Mm -hmm. You got to win Big East games. And Rutgers is here, uh, much improved Rutgers. A tricky yeah. lefty you see in that first game, and mm -hmm. boy, I mean, more entertaining softball, more entertaining you'd probably like. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you guys get a walk off win in game one of the doubleheader, mm -hmm. and uh, credit to Kayla Souls for getting that big hit yeah. to win it. Yeah, you got you know Kayla Souls has come up big a couple of times this year, and interestingly, it's around. There are players that she knows from those other teams, um, like Virginia, when she gets sure. the uh, home run to tie up the game and keep us in the game. And then again uh, against Rutgers, she comes through in a crucial time for us. And again, you know, she has a cousin who plays for Rutgers. And, yep. and she just, you know, seemed to get up there and a little bit of confidence. And, and she, she hit a hard shot, oh, yeah. a hard shot. Um, left fielder had a little bit of a play on it. I almost thought she was going to get it. And yep. then she didn't, thank God. And, and, and uh, it, it was a great game for yeah, us. But, I had yeah. a great, great look from the berm on that base hit, and that was the game winner. Sending it to game two, uh, my superstition took me out, <laughs> back out to the berm to start the game. Yeah. And you guys got an early lead in that yeah. one. And uh, again, uh, the, the freshmen certainly played a role, and you got great pitching again. Yeah, we did well again in the second game. Um, I was hoping we'd stay up and motivated because I knew we were in for a fight. You know, the Rutgers came in, and they, they are a much improved team. And they're a team that I thought last year had improved a lot, and this year continues to improve. And the key was they were going to be very up to play us. Uh, as always, everybody coming to play us, um, and this is hard for our team to understand sometimes, yeah. is you have a ranking, you, you have a reputation, everybody wants you, and it, it's, just going to be a, it's going to be a battle, you know. They may not play the same way the next week, but they're going to play up every time they play against us. Sure. And, and Tori Collins certainly deserves yeah. some credit for that second game. She tremendous struck outing. out 10. Yeah. yeah, tremendous outing, a huge difference in her, and we needed to see that from her. As we go to the final game, you know, it's easy to relax. It's a Saturday game. You've got Easter coming up. The kids might be taking a break. They've won two against this team. Yeah. I credit your team for taking an early lead, uh, a little fight from Rutgers. But, again, they pitching did. shut the door, and you guys held yeah. on for the sweep. Yeah, again, you know, um, Tori, we, uh, you know, pitched okay. Again, it wasn't quite the same as the day before, but she did a good, very good job for us. And then just getting the, the closing in there and, and finishing that off with, of course, Chelsea Leonard, the junk ball queen. Yes. And, um, you know, again, our team defense had to get the job done. Um, and I thought we did a great job defensively again. Uh, and that's, a, that's, again, a great credit. You know, um, Carol's done a great job with our defense this year. 
Chelsea's buckled some knees lately, and she's got seven saves on the season, which I think, if it isn't already a record, it's getting awfully close for yeah. a single season in Cardinal history. So. <laughs> Let's go to the road in this mm -hmm. kind of quirky biggie schedule. You get the two games on a Wednesday. You guys yeah. have to head to Philadelphia and Villanova, yeah. and it certainly is a test, but everybody does it, so yeah. you're just yeah. going to take the kids and try to get a couple wins. Well, it's probably the one thing that all of us in the conference agree we don't like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty unanimous that we all don't like it and wish we could find a way to do it, get rid of it, but um, it's the travel, you know, going in, getting in that doubleheader, then rushing right back out. Yep. Um, we all would rather not have to do that, but it's what we got to do. We've got to find a way. Um, you know, they're having a much improved year themselves. They have the, this is a great win record for them right now. Um, they obviously seem to be hitting the ball a little better. Their pitching staff is keeping them in games, and I think they're very hungry for um, – right now they have no Big East win, so they're very hungry for a win. There you go. So um, it's going to be a, a tough Wednesday matchup for us. I feel if, if we keep doing what we've been doing so well um, and we can just, you know, score enough runs to win the ball game, that's all that matters right now. And some of the hits have been there. The teams just haven't really been able to get the timely hits they need as they've been able to amass some totals so the Cards hopefully yeah. can get a few more runs on the board. That uh, moves into another quirk in the scheduling mm -hmm. is you have to find non-conference opponents in the middle of the season. Yeah. For you, it's Longwood, a team that uh, has been to the postseason before, and a, another good challenge Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Um, with our bye week and finding an opponent to play is not always easy. They're independent, yes. so they're, they're, they always are looking for High people demand. to play. Yeah. yeah. So um, it worked out well, and they wanted to come over. So um, we thought that would be a great matchup for us for the weekend. We certainly didn't want to sit around and not play anybody. I had tried to pursue Ole Miss. Um, they were going through a coaching change, couldn't make that work. Sure. Um, and nobody else had really a accommodating schedule time yeah. frame. So this worked out great, and it's going to be a great weekend for us. And, of course, we hope for excellent weather. Yeah, should be great weather. Hopefully great crowds at Elmer Stadium. And on Sunday, the Cards will be having Cancer Awareness Day. It's something that we've seen with some of the other sports. A great job by the women's basketball team. Baseball team had it recently. Uh, everybody's been touched by cancer. So it's an opportunity for you to wear your pink, come out and support the team. There will be uh, opportunities to purchase pink lemonade, opportunities to help out with the cause. and. Uh, the team will be wearing special uniforms. So something to look forward to. And I know that that yeah. means a lot to everybody. It does. It does. We have quite a few kids on our team who have been touched in, um, from their parents to their relatives. So it means a lot to everybody. And certainly uh, myself, I've gone through it with my family. And so this is an important day for everybody. And, you know, it's a fun day to support that cause and as well as just a great day to watch softball. Sounds super. We hope to see you at Ulmer Stadium. Safe travel in the middle Thank of the week. Best of luck to you and the team this weekend. Thank you. For Sandy Pearsall, I'm Sean Moth. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk next week right here on Cards TV.